So do you guys want an incredible Diablo 4 farm for legendaries, unique items, I mean gold, XP? Well today guys I bring you an incredible spot. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and to celebrate the launch of Diablo 4 I am giving one lucky person a chance to win an ultimate edition version of the game. To be with a chance of winning this simply drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed and leave a comment down below. Also guys if you're looking for people to play with, uh, check out my discord link down below. Okay so this spot is absolutely incredible, I mean it is full of elites, it is full of enemies, I mean it's not not very often guys you'll see a point where you get halfway through a dungeon and you have to empty your inventory because you're full of that loot well that's what this dungeon drops i mean the amount of the amount of loot it drops is unbelievable there's chests i counted i think on one run between 10 and 15 elite enemies it takes about 10 minutes to run uh, if you're a good player, it'll take less than that. You can do this in a party, you can do it solo. It's unreal. On screen now, you're seeing just the first instance of ads. Look how many there are. This place is full of them. Okay, so the dungeon is located right here on the map you can see where we're at guys right near the bottom of the map it's called the ruins of Arudu. does that say Arudu? Arudu? i don't know people i don't know i can't pronounce things on a good day but hey this is the one you want to come to a once mighty fortress consumed by the swamp this place is absolutely incredible now as we know blizzard are seemingly nerfing these these kind of spots these kind of farms this one i can guarantee people will also get nerfed it's just a matter of time so use this while you can now i personally at the minute i'm just still playing on a world tier 2 trying to get to a, a level like 50 51 52 then i'm going to switch to world tier 3 and start farming i am a solo player i mean i do play here and there with a couple of pals but again i mean I'm looking for a team, a full team. I'm going to create my own clan, all that good stuff. Uh, if you're interested in that, you want to play with me, you want to help me out, we want to share ideas on builds and stuff, again, check out my Discord link down below. But yes, as a solo player, there's not many spots on, in the game where you can actually farm solo. This is definitely one of them that still works. Again, this Ruins of Urudu is unbelievable. It's a great, great dungeon. On screen now, guys, you're seeing a few instances of me just rushing through charge you through those ads raking in that xp so that stage guys where i mean i've done the complete campaign but i needed a few more levels before i could actually survive in a world tier 3 as a solo player from the farm things like dungeons and such so i was looking for i was, I was traveling around the whole map well i said whole map not the whole map but i was traveling around looking for certain dungeons i found a few here and there good spots i've already posted uh, videos on my channel on them but this for me definitely as a solo player right now is the best i have found now there's no doubt better spots out there there's no doubt better ways of earning xp out there it's just yet to be found but guys trust me when i say this this spot is unbelievable now whether you want legendaries whether you want unique items i mean whether you want just xp this can be achieved all within this dungeon again if you want those legendaries though and you want that them unique items this that and the other I'd probably suggest you wait until you get to a world tier 3 to start farming. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it, you can keep get legendaries, you can keep them, you can stash them, use them moving a world tier 3. I don't know. But until you get to a world tier 3, I do believe farming those legendaries uh, for your build at least is a little bit of a waste of the time. I mean, yes, we can upgrade them, but once you get to a 50, 50 plus a level, I mean, you're going to be earning so much gear so much loot so much high level loot when you're actually able to farm that true end game so it doesn't really make sense that if you're below a level 50 i've seen i'm seeing level 20s 30s 40s asking for great legendary farms which i understand if you're trying to complete the campaign you just want to progress the campaign a little bit easier then yes working on a, a build me up build is a good good thing in regards to end game builds, I don't think farming at a level 35 will help you much. 
But hey, you play the game how you want to play. I've said this a million times. There's no right or wrong way in how you play Diablo 4. Not in my opinion anyway. You play it how you want to play it. I actually chilled when I played the game. I didn't rush through the campaign. I like to soak in that story. So I'm up chilled. I'm literally, guys, only level 45. How many days later are we? See, I ain't rushing nothing. And that's why if you're a new player to the game or if you're still struggling to level up, if you're below a level 50, I mean, a lot of my videos will help you out because... They're helping me out. I'm on your level. I'm on your level, guys. So I know what's needed. I mean, you'll see a lot of farms these days posted by other content creators. They are great, great farms, but they're end game farms. They ain't gonna help you if you're a low level. They ain't gonna help you for a level if you're between a level 20 and a 45. Not unless you play in the party. If you're a solo player, they won't help you. I watched a farm the other day, which looked so good. I I went to it as a solo player. I got my ass handed on a plate to me. So yeah, there's no, I mean like there's, like I said, there's part there's there's farms in the game where if you're in a party they're easy to do. But if you ain't in a party guys, there's few and far between solo farms we can actually earn great amounts of XP, great weapons, great armor, and all that good stuff. And this is definitely one of them we should definitely be taking advantage of. So the runes of Urudu is just unbelievable and you'll see it on the screen now the amount of ads in here. I mean, my, my build slays, by the way. I mean, it's still a work in progress build on my Necromancer. It isn't nowhere near finalized. I mean, a lot of people have asked me for a build guide on this. But there's really no point because I'm going to change up here and there. Most of my armor doesn't even coincide or work with my build and what I'm using. That's why I'm still... F I'm waiting. That's what I'm saying. I'm waiting until I'm actually able to survive in a world tier 3 as a solo player. Not playing in a party. And that's when I'm going to start working an actual investing into farming materials for upgrading uh, this that and the other so yes it is a work in progress build as of right now but if you are interested in what it is right now hit me up on my discord again link down below i'll show you the build as it is right now how it works why it works like this but it isn't relying on any armor pieces whatsoever it's just my first build that's it it's just my first build not even a level 50 yet so yeah guys if you're interested in it, hit me up on my Discord, like I said. But yes, this is an amazing farm. I definitely recommend you using, trying out, and let me know down below. Use it while you can, because as we know, Blizzard will probably nerf this as soon as it catches on, like they have with many, many other farms in the game. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Diablo 4, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.